Okay, so this is uh, problem number two. Continue to solve uh, A problem. And so I previously I solved you about the uh, HIO3. Now I'm going to continue to solve it is um, carb uh, hydrogen carbonate. Okay, so H2CO3. So same thing here. Uh, what I'm going to calculate for us is H2CO3 means let's find out where it is. So hydrogen is here. Uh, carbon is here and oxygen is here and this means a one this means a four this means six uh, valence shell electrons right there so therefore uh, valence electron uh, sum of valence electron is two times one carbon is four and three times oxygen there are six so by doing so, yeah, you will get 24 electrons. So this is a one that can be used to form the bond and the lone pairs, and we're going to figure this one out. And so, and then what do I do? Uh, I'm going to put, quote unquote, exotic atom in the center, something that is not oxygen, something that is not hydrogen. So there will be a, a carbon. So let's try to think about putting the carbon in the middle. So that will be a most kind of common choices. And then you're going to put an oxygen, oxygen, oxygen around it. And then hydrogen is come next to the oxygen. Okay, so you can put it right there. So they're trying to make a bond with an oxygen. So that will be a, my first choice of uh, arranging the atom. And then first thing first, let's try to connect the atoms to make it into a molecule. So, so, so far I have draw five sticks, ten bonds, so that means ten electrons are bonded, bonding, right? So I use them, then make it fourteen electrons, right? So let me use a different color coordination. So then I'm going to use, uh, think about outside out outside in so one two three four that will make an oxygen satisfying the octet rule this one make it two pairs of lone pairs satisfy the octet rule this one need three pairs of lone pair electron to satisfy the octet rule so by finishing do, doing so how many electron did you use in the outside uh, there will be a mm, one, two, three, four, twelve. Uh, there is, uh, okay, there will be a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So you got fourteen electron to be done. Yeah, that's, that was, that's for sure. So no electrons, right? So this is a lone pairs. So therefore, uh, no electrons to central atom right so so that's what you have done you have used them up and then let's think about the former charges now and then as you remember this has no former charges and this one is very useful to remember that's a minus one former charges and the, like I said the in the previous video when I talk about uh, HIO3 uh, is, is actually a shortcut way is to think about overall charges is zero. So therefore, uh, what has left is inside of the carbon, what the charge should be, there should be a plus one. Okay, So that's, that can be a one way to calculate the former charges in the middle. But at the same time, you can, you can do it one more time here. Former charges of carbon, let's think about it. If you think about carbon in the middle, uh, carbon means four, right? Four valence shell electron because they are located in right here. So that's a number of valence shell electrons uh, as a neutral atom. And then you're going to subtract that by number of valence shell, the lone pair electron, which is zero. And then number of half of number of bonded electron, which is a six, a three bonds, six electrons. So 
4 minus 3 is plus 1. So this is a plus 1 charges, so that's why you can have that. Or you can, just like I did, uh, overall there is no charges, and this one must have a minus 1, and so therefore it has a plus 1. So, so this is a sort of the uh, first step to establish the connection and to satisfy the octet rule by putting the right amount lone pair electrons, and then this is what you have. And then now you're looking at it, this one, look at here. This one is only have a, what is called a six electrons, right? So in the organic chemistry, this is called carbocation, and this one does not satisfy the octet rule. So this is an extremely unhappy uh, state, uh, unstable state of molecule. So there is an easy for, fix for this. Okay, so why don't I move these lone pair electrons to form the double bond? It is a win-win game. By doing so, locally what's going to happen is your oxygen now form the double bond with the carbon with the two lone pairs left. By doing so, this former charges on this one is zero now, right? And then this one here, this one here has a O H and O H with the same number of lone pairs before. So by doing so, the former charges and oxygens are gone. So and also the overall charge is still zero. So this one is actually also more charges of zero. So it's a win-win situation. That one satisfies the octet rule. And also four more charges are gone. So octet rule satisfied and the right amount, uh, the all the four more charges are minimized. So that's the right equation. So I am going to write this one in a form that is much more well-known um, way of people writing it. If you're looking at it, people tend to write this equation on two like this. Okay. And this is what is called a carbonic acid. Okay. And uh, it has the right number of electrons. The Lewis structure is, looks like this. And this one, if you think about it, right, and I mean, I can, I can, I can envision myself. Oh, that's a CO two, and the water, right? So that's that's right. So it's a CO two and the water. So this is what's happening in your uh, carbonated water. Okay, the CO two and water they make it carbonic acid, and then that's uh, their Lewis structures. Okay, thank you for your attention.